Man, Microsoft been pushing ads on this game bigger and, and more frequent than any game I can remember, bro. I'm, I'm seeing everybody play it. I'm seeing all these reviews. It's gotta be, they must want this game to do really well. Or they know that it's the next big thing. I don't know. I haven't seen this much like interaction since probably Halo Infinite or Infinity. What's it called? Yeah, I feel like when this drawing was coming out, it was getting so much interaction. I never even played it, bro. It's even got its own animation on the Xbox app on PC. Like dog, it's got its own little section. They, they not playing around. What's happening? All three Starfield, what's going on? From Bethesda, they got Skyrim, Fallout. I've never played those games ever in my life, but I will, I will. And I might put them on the channel. So hey, if you you know you like those games, go ahead and subscribe. It's gonna be on here in the future. Appreciate that. Obviously, they hope they got the next big thing. They think they think this game's gonna be crazy. The next adventure game, the next single player adventure game. Unfamiliar area for them. They ever been to space? No, nah, you got this ain't this ain't medieval times. Like Skyrim, this ain't a post-apocalyptic world like uh, Fallout. They in space. And they got everything that comes with space. Space suits, ships, space fights. I mean, I, I feel like it's a lot to take on. On top of that, they gonna keep their staples. Like if you're carrying too much, you gonna lose your stamina faster. Or if you fall from a height, you are gonna get an injury. And everything is customizable. Your ship, your character, and don't forget about the skill tree. Still gotta get the skill tree in there. It's a lot of game and it's a lot to think about, but who better than Bethesda to make it? Not like I would know. I ain't played no damn Bethesda games. But I, I know, I know they got they got the rep. Okay. I heard I know about Skyrim. I know about Fallout. Obviously, I ain't never played them, but even me knowing about them, that's gotta tell you. They know what the fuck they're doing. It's it's a lot of details in this game that are it's kind of crazy. A huge game. A lot to expect from Bethesda, but like who better to make it, you know? There's definitely some bugs. The game just came out. What do you expect? Nobody's perfect. It's going to have some bugs, but my start to the game been phenomenal i've hit some stuff i made two saves i may have lost one of them it's it's all good i'm not tripping it's not like i made it far anyway and i was modding that save that i lost so it is what it is for me the game's off to a great start and i can't wait to keep playing so at first i was just recording i didn't know if i wanted to put it on the channel uh and then i started having fun bro like this this game's for real. It's also a great opportunity for me to try out a new style of video. A little voiceover joint, a little more produced joint, if that's what you want to call it. I got like like three hours of uh, recording here. I'm about to shove into like 20 minutes. Anyway, we start off as the new guy, Adam and Romine. I, I tried to make him look like me. He kind of looked like me, right? Nope. He he might be a little older, a little, little more experienced than me in life, but hey, that's pretty good. Especially the facial hair. He got a little more going on right here. But you know, I'm working on it, all right? Anyway, of course you're the one to stumble, a brand new dude, this your first day, and you stumble into some ancient, ancient item. Got you seeing shit? Come on, man. I feel like in games like this, there's always that, that thing, that item. Either you looking for it, it's some mysterious item you looking for the whole game, or like you start off with it, and then it leads you to go find people and figure out what it is. Well, in this game, it's called the artifact. And it's a situation where it's leading you to find out what the artifact is. Anyway, after your little vision and all that, I feel like you meet the first main character of the game. You see your dude walk out all slow. Look at him. Cool ass. And then you got the... Y'all ever played a Star Wars games? Y'all know, uh... Y'all know BD2? Or BD1? This little dude? Yeah, they got his big cousin in the game. Called Vasco. Y'all watch One Piece? Here we go. I'm off with the references now. That's why... I I might not be able to do the voiceover joints. I watch One Piece or not? This is exactly what I thought of when I heard of Vasco. Vasco shot from the Blackbeard Pirate. Come on, man. You ain't watching One Piece. You tripping. Anyway, back on topic. Uh, this is Barrett. Thinking he's going to be pretty sure he's going to be one of the main characters of the game. He is part of this group called the Constellation, who's already got a couple pieces of the artifact. They trying to figure out what it is, too. But Barrett got freaking pirates after him so this is your first taste of combat in this game and let me tell you boy combat nice as fuck, excuse my language but combat is nice in this game and i've been i've been playing borderlands like crazy 
Check those videos out if you ain't seen them. I've been hired to play through the whole Borderlands 1. I got 26 parts out on Borderlands 2. Y'all need to come on, man. If you ain't seen those, come on, man. Hey, I'm not doing this for, uh, for nothing. Watch the videos, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm kidding. But watch this combat, bro. People run up with with axes, knives, all that. And look at how the gun recoil, bro. This the, the game is crazy. The game is great. And obviously, you're going to be able to loot every every person, every single person. Get new guns, get items, get all that type of stuff. Grenades, uh money. Game is game is phenomenal so far. Like it once I shot the gun for the first time, I was kind of hooked. I'm not going to lie to you. Anyway, Let's after that, we got the stars Got to talk to Barry. Uh there. your friend Lynn, oh, I want to say her name's Lynn. That's where we I, I'm so bad with names, bro. Y'all don't get it. Supervisor Lynn, see, no. I was doubting, I was doubting myself. Your biggest doubter is probably you. So, hey, you got some doubts, get over. Lynn mad at Barrett because he brought the pirate. So Barrett decided to stay behind. Barrett give me the ship and the robot. I get Vasco and the ship. Okay, cool. Head off to go see a constellation in some nice ass city. Let me tell you. Obviously with the ship, you got, you got to learn how to fly it. And how do we learn how to fly it? By freaking getting into a fight already i'm sure it's just it was just more of a tutorial situation but hey dope dope and i feel like i gotta get used to the flight controls i ain't never really been a flyer especially on mouse and key I, i'm not playing with a controller if i was with a controller probably would have smoked them but with mouse and key it's not that bad fight these dudes you get the loot from the ships too like bro what didn't they think of like take a look at the 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 flight the dog fights if you will it's crazy bro it's crazy the game's so good like it's so good i'm not even worried about the bugs and shit you know what i'm saying like when cyberpunk came out oh cyberpunk was advertised like this game was that shit was getting pushed everywhere anyway the good is better than the bad for me that's why i'm just like bro this game's heat, straight heat, bro. You got three different types of weapon systems on the on the ship. Like fire, bro, fire. You could allocate where you want your energy to go. Like for real, what didn't they think of? Before you go meet Constellation, you gotta get away from the pirates. So you gotta creep where the pirates follow you anyway. You have to fight them anyway. They confront you and you find out that the whole reason they're chasing you is for the ship, not even for Barrett. So it's really just smoke them so you can move on oh one cool thing after that fight i found out that you can fast travel straight to your ship or any other like discovered areas from wherever you are if you pull out your scanner but if you're carrying too many items and you're too heavy it won't let you probably one of the best features in a in a game because i hate i hate when you gotta walk somewhere super far fast travel is one of my favorite features in all of games period to get to another solar system they let you grab jump which i'm pretty sure is just short for gravity jump right but once you do you end up at a planet called jameson and that's where the constellation lodge is at basically their home base and that's where you get introduced to the ship upgrades and the kiosk where you can sell your items this is the part where i realize i probably should be doing a full recording like my face commentary everything next up you go to the lodge and and meet the constellation there's sarah who seems like the leader noel mateo and walter here to have a visitor what up welcome to constellation what's going on we have a lot to talk about and if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols i guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to neon they hating on me what old Let's man is and by the time you get to constellation they already had two of the artifact pieces if you could place it on the table here no big deal that's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. And the third piece that you had caused some type of crazy reaction. Oh, oh gosh. Gosh. that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the solar systems can do that. None of them. This proves that easy girl. Breathe. Is this all of them or is there more? After this, we're looking for some dude named Moara. But first, we got to talk to some other dude to get to the dude that we need. Hey, I'm dipping, right? I don't even know where I'm going. Sarah, where are we going? We need to talk to John Tuala. 
in math by also i'm pretty sure sarah has superpowers see when i had leveled up <clears throat> where's she at okay well do your thing girl what going on sarah good to see you girl what a, i swear she was not behind me moara and zina moara moara that's a crazy name He's in a place called Sidonia, which is on Mars. So I was hoping to be able to see Earth. The side missions really come out of nowhere. This dude just ran up to me. I was like, okay. I wasn't going to do what he said until he, until he really got my attention. You know what I'm saying? Hey! Yeah, whoa. Hey, hey, you. Where are you, where are you coming from? I need to talk to you. What's good, G? You're the one that was on Vectera, right? Uh, you flew in on the uh, frontier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great, great. Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you. An actual eyewitness. Uh, there's credits in it for credible newsworthy information. You got my attention. Talk Hi, to Mr. his boss for some easy credits. She just wanted to know what was going on. Just can't. Oh, my fault, lady. My fault, my fault, my fault. What's going on? Story for me? I bet. Yeah, bro. Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. Who is talking in my bro? How much? 500? Okay, I'll take 500. 500 ain't bad. Appreciate your play, yeah. Then I headed to Sidonia to find Moara. Sidonia's on Mars. So I was able to see Earth in the solar system. Boy, that thing was looking dusty. Oh, cool, cool. Sidonia? That's how she said it. Not Sidonia. Hold on. Yep, this is, this is Earth. Or this is uh, the solar system. Yep, Mercury, Venus, Earth. Ooh, Earth is brown with our one moon. Oh, Lord. Yeah, things went to shit here for sure. Sidonia, let's rock. The hell, the St. Louis Ark and Mars? What's going on? They didn't take that bitch off the Earth, put it on Mars. Elon Musk was behind it, I know it. On Sidonia, the bartender was a real piece of piece of work, you know. He tried to finesse me out of twenty five hundred, bro. I was like, oh no, player! I should have pressed his ass after that, bro. Like, what do you mean twenty five hundred? I'm not paying somebody else to have. Oh, he at the bar, of course. What's good, my guy? Ah, there's nothing like fresh air filters. Am I right? Been serving drinks here for over forty years. A few places can offer that kind of stability. You look like you'd play a great Wolverine, bro. For something else to taste good. God, and you, you just no flinch, no nothing. Okay, you used to that. All right, got you. You don't guess. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking at my bar. Okay, bro, you're starting to talk a little slick. It's a lot of credits, okay? Wow. I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Well, you ain't getting a dollar from me. 2,500? Get out of here, bro. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone Get them, Sarah. Price. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Thousand? There's also, okay. uh, that was the first time I got to use the persuasion mechanic. I did not know that was a thing until this conversation. That ain't gonna work. You're right. This remind me of Ratchet and Clank, but the old ones, the old joints, where you would like travel from planet to planet on the ship, fire. I, I know they still make them. I got the newest one. I ain't played it though. Bartender gives me some info. I go to a satellite where some enemies are posted up. Looking back, I probably should have just fought them. But nah, I decided to take the long way. It did take a long time too. I really should have just fought them. I am down to fight him. I mean, I only got half of my health. Can I repair? Nah. I got money. I should have freaking. How much money I got? 
I should have paid to get this thing fixed. 18,000, it's only a thousand to fix it. I'd be boxing right now. After I made it to the satellite, we listened to a message that let us know Mara was probably at us near the Earth. So I finally, I finally got to go, but it wasn't even there. It was on the moon. And not even on the moon. It was on a space station outside the moon. Earth. Yeah, I know it stank down there. Are we going to the moon? We ain't even going to Earth. The space station? There's a galactic star yard. And once you get on that space station, boy, you better been ready to fight. I also decided I'm probably gonna show most of the fights for this game. Combat, fire, phenomenal. Y'all know it. All right, so more. Oh, sh okay, so that's what we're getting into, huh? Okay. All right, let's get it. Dead, let's rock. I've been playing Borderlands. I'm good right now. Yep. What's good? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, you got health like that then, huh? Oh, okay. Bro, what the hell's you doing, Sarah? Oh my goodness. Come on, bro. The firing on these guns is so fire. There it is. Bang, bang, beach. What's up? What's up? Yep. Eat that. Eat that. Oh my. What in the hell is going on? Beach. I think. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. People back there too? Uh oh. Let's get over here. Crouch. Can, oh, see that? Can't shoot through this glass? Dead, nice. Just keep it moving, keep it pushing. And him. He ain't dead. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Let's go. Ugh, why does the screen go dark? Woo wee! Is that it? I don't went through this whole thing? What did I come this way for? Nothing? That might be the case. Okay. Man, I gotta watch out for where I'm going for real. Nah, how the hell? Dead, right, right, right. Oh yeah, this rifle's nice. Oh yeah, this level 12 dude ain't playing around. Hold on, hold on. Oh, what the fuck is that? Down, bitch. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property. But this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. After that, Neptune is the next move. And that's about it for the episode. I went back to Jameson to sell some things at the kiosk. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I think Starfield is going to be a new part of my weekly schedule. I'm gonna upload my recordings with no commentary on Fridays and Saturdays, but Freaky Friday and Casual Saturday are gonna have to take a break for a while. I know a few of y'all like those videos, but I'll spice a break. They'll be back later. I kind of got my hands full with Borderlands and Starfield. I'm gonna do one Starfield video like this a week and then probably upload the my recordings Friday and Saturday. I don't know, I'm gonna try out this whole half voiceover half in-game commentary and see how it goes for the next couple videos.
I feel like it was a much more, much like higher quality video. And honestly, that's what I'm trying to put out, just high quality stuff. It is a much shorter video, but honestly, game like Starfield, I feel like I need to play a lot on my own, so not bad, not bad. Hey, share with your friends, comment uh, what else I should play, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.